You know, I can see it now. Somebody said something. Like, if I'm ever dead, somebody said something about it. I'm just going. He said, he, he said it right there. Back here, you can't say, man, you are, and I say, mama, fuck you up. You say, I'm gonna fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Why are you here in this special unit? A dude, man, dude faking, right? Some dude on the other block, y'all saw me, you know what I'm selling like death, right? And then as though I'm small, and you know what I'm saying, he thought he need to take advantage of me, so you know what I'm saying? And I, I broke out my handcuffs, right? I tried to break his motherfucking jaw, running his mouth. So I believe if whatever you do, I'm gonna break whatever you do. Like if you sniffing too much, I'm gonna break your nose. You you, you see too much, I'm gonna hurt your eye. Nah, he ain't hurt enough to, to die, but he 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 got knocked out though. And the thing's some the scratches on his face. So they you know what I'm saying? They locked him. They locked me down. Locked. You know what I'm saying? I I'm, I'm man. I tell him man. I give me. I'm thug like whatever. You know. I'm in I'm in this shit deep. Always gonna be thug like. <laughs> yeah. I'm sad. I, I change eventually, but you know, right now, man, you know, man, man, I'm live. I'm, I got a lot of frustrations, right? But you know, think you're gonna survive up here? How do you think it's gonna end the story? I die. I ain't got me survive. And raise me. I grew up 1986, fucking crazy. They killed my daddy right up on the bed, chopped his dick off, shoved it in his chest, and put my daddy to rest. My mama did 10 from the fucking life. I said, has shown that the people denied would explode. And right now, 30, 40% of the black community is on that street disenfranchised. Imagine your rise to 68 times 30 or 40. Do you think it's a joke? You better ask somebody. I can't stop him, but I see him, I hear him, I listen to his music. He has no hope, he has no reason to go on. And one day, his generation is gonna lose it. You better understand why they're so emotional, why they shoot so much, why they don't care about life. Because nobody's giving them any reason to care. You got a baby coming and you a baby your goddamn self. What do you want me to tell him? Keep hope alive, son. Everything's gonna be okay. No, it ain't gonna be okay. What I hope is he don't wind up being my goddamn neighbor. That's what I hope. 
Now what you probably hear coming in is another busload. This is a busload of inmates coming up from Lort for parole hearings, hopefully to get out of jail today. They're hoping that they have rehabilitated themselves with the means that we offer, with the limited programs and services, that the parole board will look at them favorable and say, okay, you can now go home. When you walk from here today, you're saying that with 15 years ago, you were, you were 13 years, you were 15 years old, and you don't even know anything about this community. Who's going to take care of you? Take care of myself. I understand that, but I mean, where do you start? You said your aunt? Yeah, I started there. What skills did you pick up while you were incarcerated? Landscaping. Landscaping. Brick Mason. You got any job leads? Nah, not right now. How much money you got in your account? Nothing. Nothing? If I walk like maybe down to McDonald's and go get an application, you think they're going to hire me? Big questions, you know? Well, if I was 16 in this society right now, you think I got a chance to get a scholarship, play ball, go somewhere, wife and kids? You don't get it like that. You know? See, society now, I done looked at it, young kids now, it ain't there for them. You can't blame them, you can't blame them parents. You have to look at it and put it on society. It's like you say, warehouses, that's what they is, warehouses. You know, you still got a number. It's going to always belong to somebody. So you go in young, you come out old. You go in wild, you come out. You come out. You know? If you don't die in there. Hepron, good luck to you. Stay strong. Man, what the fuck should I be living for? My my my, my partner's gone. Both of my partners gone. Uh, man, ain't nothing on the streets for. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't shit for us, man. I, man, it ain't nothing for us. Man, look at it. Look at, look at me. I'm a private example. Look at me. Look at my lifestyle. Look at my look at my life. <laughs> my crazy world. <laughs> It's crazy. It's my crazy world. But life goes on. How many brothers fell victim to the street? Rest in peace, young nigga. There's a heaven for you. Be a lie if I told you that I never thought of death. My niggas be the last ones left. And life goes on. Yeah, nigga, I got the word as hell. You blue trail and the judge gave you 25 with an L. Time to prepare to do fair time. Won't see parole. Imagine life as a convict that's getting old. How many brothers fell victim to the street? Rest in peace, young nigga. There's a heaven for you. Be alive if I told you that I never thought of that. My niggas, we the last ones left. But life goes on.